Yo, today I'm gonna do a tear down and clean for this KDK ceiling fan remote control. As you can see, it's a bit of yellowing, dirty in the seams, and we'll be sure that uh, on the keypads there's a lot of uh, fiber, dirt, leftover food inside. So let's take out the batteries first, then let's inspect where are the screws and the hinges we need to uh, open it up. So quite obvious, we can see there's two screws on the top and one in the battery compartment. It seems like it's easier to open compared to the, the first one that we did. Uh, after removing the screws, right, it's still quite uh, securely shut. Let's see which point to uh, open it up. Yes, okay, uh, it starts opening from the top and it slides down. The first two clips have been uh, loosened and we need to uh, insert a, a plastic tube to remove it. After working it a bit, uh, pushing it downwards and prying it upwards, you can see the clips over there. So uh, the trick for this remote is you need to separate both uh, the left side and right side first slowly working it away then the hook is set uh, at the bottom of the remote yeah, so now I'm pointing to you where the clips are a series of clips one two three four five Four more screws uh, secure the PCB onto the uh, remote control. And the interesting thing about this uh, LCD, we'll talk about it later. Okay, and the, as usual, uh, it's a nice construction of the remote control. You can suffer a bit of uh, a drops, no problem. If you can see that uh, after some alcohol cleaning, right, the logo, the red color logo, actually sm uh, smudges. So I don't think the the print quality is that good. So I'm very particular about the dirt on the uh, seams of the case. So I'll take uh, some more time to clean it. Compared to the previous one, right, the PCB board is nicely designed, very clean lines to uh, the contact points, and uh, robustly uh, uh, done. Up. Yeah, as 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 expected, right, this uh, uh, rubber uh, button pad yeah, is really dirty. So uh, I, I used the uh, brush to brush it at first, but yeah, I think that uh, using this uh, alcohol soap uh, pad is much cleaner and faster. We, we can't uh, avoid the yellowing of the keypads and the case, but yeah, yeah, I've I come across some videos that uh, you can use some bleach uh, cleaning agent to whiten. Uh, the case but yeah I'm not gonna do it okay the assembly if you see right the LCD screen is uh, surprisingly not soldered onto the board so yeah it's sitting on top of the IC chip so what I've done here is I've uh, placed the LCD and the rubber backing onto the case first then uh, installing the PC board and the four screws so we are about there 
So remember uh, the, the back case right, the bottom part goes uh, hooks in first. Make sure that two clips are engaged, then you press down from the side. Installing the battery and doing some uh, preliminary uh, testing first, making sure that you can turn on or off, you can change speed. Yeah. So every, uh, 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 all the functions are okay, screwing it back. If you like uh, this type of content that I have made, you can uh, like it. And if you like uh, the videos uh, to be coming up, uh, you can uh, subscribe. Thank you. That's all for today. KDK Remote Control Teardown.